Alright, this is our verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Mm -hmm. If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now if, a, now if any man have not the spirit of a Mashiach, he is none of his. See what you got, man? That's the war between the flesh and the spirit, man. That's the battle, man. That's the war between the flesh and the spirit, man. And this world is carnal, man. It's all these people embrace carnal stuff. You see? And not all men have faith, man. So, what was it? Uh, you, had, you had called Second uh, Thessalonians. Okay. Start at four. Okay. This is uh this is Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse four. Go ahead. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High? That's Esau, Edom, man. That done that. He and the lame man, he put all the images up, saying that he was the uh, heavenly Father's son, man. So proud white man done that, man. He's against the heavenly Father and his son. And he's full of pride. And he got two-thirds of you niggas like you know the neighbor murder in a carnal state of mind. Hating the heavenly father and his son, man. You know? Willing to do anything to continue on the course of destruction right along with Esau, man. Two-thirds of y'all. That's, that, that's what... Like I said, when, when that person told me, man, that that individual was willing to take a, a fucking shot that they gave a dog just to come over here on this side of the border, I was like, God damn, man. Yeah, man. Shouldn't be surprised when Jake do they say anything these days. Yeah, man. man. Just to get the goodies, man. Just to make just to make Esau eat them happy, man. Okay? But Esau eat them don't give a damn, man. Esau Edom is about staying in power and keeping advantage over you, man. Esau don't care about you. He does not care. It's Yahweh Shemel Shai, the one that cursed. Not Esau Edom, man. Yahweh Shemel Shai is the one that longing to be with his people, desire to be with his people, man. Esau Edom don't give a damn. He's like, he can tend to use you, man, and destroy you, man. You know? And use the media, the television, the radio, and keep Jake in a low state, and he bring out the goodies, and say, look what I got. All you got to do is submit to me, and I give this to you. Look what I got. Okay. See? Instead of trusting in y'all, boss, you with shots, man. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta meditate, man. The Heavenly Father and His Son hate Esau, you know, Look what it, he allowed Esau even to accomplish, man. And he hate him. Man, we're going to go beyond this, man. Go beyond what Esau could not do, man. Esau is trying to live forever, man. He's trying. We are. <laughs> you know? Esau talking about going green and the environment and all that, which he's lying. You know what I'm saying? He too busy. He on one hand he destroying everything, and then right. on other other hand he talking about climate change. Right, right. It, it, it's him deceit, man. It's him deceit, man. Come. It's him fucking destroying this earth, but then he's acting like he wants to save it. Yeah, man. That's Esau evil, man. That's that double talk, man. That fork tongue, man. Done, done. You know? Uh, he's opposing Yahweh Shemel Shai. He's opposite. Uh, you see? Of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And he got two good new jakes opposite of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Hold it, man. Go ahead. Alright. I'll read it again. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. Or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High. Right. He over in the land of Jerusalem. And since he got
got everything he got, you looking at him like he's the person that can cure the world, but at the same time, he got sent up disease control, pushing out all the viruses. And the most high uses him on the left hand side because you don't believe in him and his word, so therefore he took a strong losing trust in Esau Edom. Go ahead. Showing himself that he is the most high. See? Go ahead. Who did that? So called white man. They're the only nation of people who ever done that, man. You see? Paint a picture of the Heavenly Father's Son spread all over the world and if he's and if they the chosen people, man. You go into the ancient world, Israelites always do their work as a people, man. Esau can deceive everybody, man. And hid the identity of the real Israelite. But now we know, too late. Destruction coming for you. Go ahead. This is uh, verse 5. Re Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Yeah, Paul told us that Esau was going to be like this. See? Amen. You know, you younger guys just now coming to this truth, and you see these Edomites, you look at them like they're strange, man. You look at them like, what's wrong with them? You see? You just now coming to this truth, when your eyes are open, the layers are pulled back, and you've been enlightened. Now you're looking at them like, man, what's wrong with their color, man? What's wrong with them, man? Why they look like that? Huh? It's because of their sins, man. Huh? That was, that's a curse, man. That's a curse of leprosy, man. They got on, man. Huh? Okay? That's, a, that's because of sin. All you got to do is read number 12 chapter. That's a curse of sin, man. Now you know who Esau Edom is. So-called white man, man. That's why they look like that. And you got some of our people that men with a monster that look like that, they're going to be changing the kingdom, man. They're going to get their picket back. Uh -huh. And you're going to know exactly who's the Edomite. In the kingdom. Go ahead. Uh -huh. so, uh, verse 6. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. So is the Most High allowing Esau to be in the position that he may be revealed, okay, according to prophecy. So them dry bones had to wake up and come out here and teach and break the scripture down to you through the spirit of power y'all by Shana Shah and let you know who the so-called white man is, the devil is about to fix up, he saw Edom. He's the one that opposed up Yahweh Shana Shah and he's ruling. That's why he's taking all the, you know, the apostles and the, you know, the elders videos down, you know what I'm saying, left and right, uh, for the fact that uh we are through, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, exposing him. Yeah. You know? And you think we're going to be out here when they get to pushing this uh, chip on the mass there? You think we're going to be out here warning you, continue to warn you? Hell no, nah, man. Esau don't want that, man. He don't want you to be, uh, have an understanding of his agenda. That's why I keep taking down the video, man. Eventually, you're going to look on there, it ain't going to be nothing, man. That's why our brothers are speaking in code. You know what I'm saying? Speaking in code, to get things across to you. But eventually, man, it ain't, ain't going ain't, ain't to be none of that, man. You're going to go on, on the web, man, and see nothing. A blank. You know, you know, if you haven't, you know what I'm saying, been keeping up or been, you know, listening, you know, to the apostles, you know, or the Akim out there, a lot of the codes that are going to be used, man, you're not even going to know what they're talking about. Yeah. You know? You see? So it's going down. Go ahead. It says, uh, it's, uh, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity do already work. He was talking about the Roman Empire back then. Oh, but he knew. He knew that... Them Edomites back then was gonna come back into power, man. He knew it. You see? And when you link them precepts up, it goes into Revelation, uh, I wanna say the seventh, seventeenth chapter. Matter of fact, let me look. What, what verse you at? Chapter seven. I mean select it, uh, verse seven.
Yeah, I'm gonna show you something, man. Let's go over here. The revelations. All what you got. Yeah, that's another thing too, man. That camera, they be zapping the camera, man. I look over there, the camera be zapped, man. I don't be no, it's like last week, uh, the end of the video, man. I, I looked over there, the camera was zapped, man. I'm like, man, how the camera going on, man? It's a full battery, man. You know what I'm saying? A full battery, man. Yeah, that's Revelation 17, chapter, verse 5. I read it. It says, uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 5, And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and the abomination of the earth. That's going into America. But, Paul was saying in Thessalonians, the mystery of iniquity is already at work. Okay? He was telling you that the Romans was going to come back into power, man. Before the Edomites, and they were going to be control of Babylon, man. The great, man. Now, what I want to do is show you how that's linked into Rome, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to the phone, man. I'll be better. Yeah, I got one bar. Got one bar up there. Let me look up there, man. Real quick. Oh, really? The first five. Right? It's the one I was reading? No, I'm in the oh. election. I'm going to show you, man. This strong G, G897, Babylon, and down here it said, allegorically, a Rome as the most corrupt seat of idolatry and the enemy of Christianity, which we should say, of Mashiach. But that's it, and, and see, look at that. See that? So, looking up the word Babylon, which means confusion, and I'm going to show y'all down there. See what it says down there, see? So Paul knew that the Romans who were ruling back then, which were Edomite, was going to be in control of the mystery of Babylon the Great. See that? That's in Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead was the name written, the mystery of Babylon. And when you look that up, that goes into Rome. The great, the mother of harlots, and the abomination of the earth. That's why we tell you America and Rome, America, Babylon, the Great, all those empires, ancient empires, fall into one to bring confusion on the earth. See what you got, bro. All right, this is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. See, Paul knew. See, Paul knew, man, already, man. Go ahead. Only he who now let it so will let. So he's saying, look, only he will now let it. So he's saying, look, the Edomites are in power because Yahweh Shinnah Shai got him in power. And he let him do that right, right. to fulfill prophecy. Okay? He let him bring forth his chip to, to fulfill prophecy, man. And two thirds gonna be caught up in the wave of it, man. You see? Because they don't got faith, man. Go ahead, bro. 
until he be taken out of the way. Until he be taken out of the way. So who is going to take him out of the way? Y'all watching our shot. Isaiah 63. Go ahead. And then shall that wicked be revealed. So how is he being revealed? Now, the wicked is Esau Edom. Mm. Give me his whole day, give me Sirach 33. And that's what you got on this earth. You got the men that's spiritual, and you got the men that's carnal. Esau is carnal. They're a nation of carnal people, and you got the Israelites, which are a nation of spiritual people, but two-thirds are being seduced by Esau and Edom, man. That's what's happening. Start there. Alright. This is a Sirach, Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 33, verse 7. Why do one day excel another when as all the light of every day and the year is of the sun? Go ahead. By the knowledge of Yahweh, by some Yahushai, they were di distinguished? Yep. Distinguished, and he altered seasons and feasts. Yeah, that's why we know about the high holy day according to the law, man. According to the word of Yahweh Shalom Shah. Okay? Go ahead. This is, uh, verse 9. Some of them had he made high days. See? Go ahead. And hollowed them. See? Go ahead. And some of them had he made or ordinary. Ordinary days. See? Go ahead. All men are from the ground. We all come from Adam, man. 